Looking for inspiration? One may immediately turn to famous and glamorous women like Rihanna or Oprah Winfrey as symbols of wealth and success. However, the truth is that the world's wealthiest women tend to maintain a much lower profile than your average celebrity. Yet, with a combined net worth of almost $500 billion, these women have amassed their fortunes through sheer determination and intelligence. Let's discover how the world's richest women earned their impressive fortunes and see how they're using their wealth and explore their stories. The first woman on the list is Miriam Adelson. As a successful Israeli-American physician who fulfilled her mandatory military service as a medical officer, Miriam completed her Bachelor of Science in Microbiology and Genetics at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and obtained her medical degree at the Sackler Medical School of Tel Aviv University. Miriam encountered Sheldon Adelson during her tenure as an associate physician at Rockefeller University. It was there that the two kindled a romance that would ultimately lead to marriage in 1991. Sheldon was a wealthy and powerful businessman who controlled the Las Vegas Sands Corporation, while Miriam was an accomplished medical professional specializing in drug addiction. After Sheldon's unfortunate passing in 2021, Miriam assumed control of the casino empire and found herself amongst the world's elite, commanding vast wealth and influence. With her majority ownership of the Las Vegas Sands, she controls a vast gambling empire with a significant presence in Singapore and Macau. But that's not all. She's also the publisher of Israel Hayom, a widely circulated newspaper in Israel, and a voting member of the prestigious Board of Trustees at the University of Southern California. Miriam's impressive portfolio of accomplishments is a testament to her unwavering determination and unwavering commitment to success. According to Forbes, Miriam Adelson reigned supreme as the wealthiest Israeli ranking as the 5th richest woman and the 44th richest person on the planet, with an astounding net worth of $36.3 billion as of June 2021, and with her net worth continuing to climb to $37.4 billion since 2022, Miriam's financial dominance remains a force to be reckoned with. Miriam Adelson's philanthropic efforts span across multiple causes, but her significant contributions to political endeavors have garnered attention. In 2020, she and her late husband, Sheldon, donated a whopping $180 million to Republican campaigns and political action committees. Known for her strong political views on Israel, Miriam is credited with influencing Sheldon's stance as well. She was also a prominent financial backer for the inauguration of former President Donald Trump, solidifying her influence in the political arena. Do you like candies? How about M&Ms, Skittles, or even Twix? Because if you do, then the chances are that you've unwittingly contributed to the immense wealth of one particular woman. Jacqueline Mars is the heiress to the Mars family, who's renowned for creating the world's largest candy producer, Mars Incorporated. As the granddaughter of the company's founder, Frank C. Mars, and the daughter of Audrey Roof and Forrest Mars Sr., Jacqueline Mars owns a significant portion of Mars Incorporated, making her one of the world's wealthiest individuals. According to Forbes magazine, her net worth was approximately $23.5 billion in January 2019, placing her among the top 20 richest Americans and the top 35 richest people globally. Jacqueline's involvement with Mars Incorporated lasted nearly four decades, including serving as the Food Product Group president from 1982 to 2001, after which she retired but continued to sit on the board of directors until 2016. Forbes also recognized her as the wealthiest resident in Virginia in 2019, with a net worth of $28.1 billion, which has since increased to $38.3 billion. Jacqueline takes an active interest in her passions, serving on the board of the National Archives and being a trustee of the U.S. equestrian team. She also runs a fully organic farm that is protected in perpetuity by the Land Trust of Virginia. So we talked about the Queen of Candies, but where would you sell those candies? Walmart. Alice Louise Walton, the daughter of Walmart's founder, is a true trailblazer who defied expectations and made a name for herself in the world of finance. She could have easily lived a life of luxury, but instead, she decided to carve her own path and became one of the most successful women in finance. From working briefly at Walmart to becoming a money manager and heading up investment activities for her family's bank group, Alice's financial prowess is truly impressive. Her leadership at the Lama Company, a subsidiary of Walton Enterprises led to its success for a decade before she pivoted to pursue her love of horses and established the world-renowned Rocking W Ranch. Despite living in Texas, Alice never forgot her roots in Arkansas 
founding the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art to showcase her stunning collection of American artwork. But Alice's success isn't just measured by her wealth. She's a dedicated philanthropist who supports education, economic development, and environmental conservation through her family's foundation. Alice's inspiring journey proves that with talent, drive, and passion, anything is possible. Science, candies, Walmart. Maybe it's time for a quick love story. Picture this. It's 1991 and two strangers meet on a blind date. At first, it seems like the universe is playing a cruel joke, as Julia Margaret Flesher is left unimpressed by her date, David Koch. But as fate would have it, they bump into each other again later that year. And this time, something clicks. Six months later, they're officially dating and on their way to a lifetime of love and partnership. Fast forward a few years, and Julia and David are married with three beautiful children. They're also heavily involved in the family business, Coke Industries, which is a giant in the manufacturing, refining, and distribution industries. Think petroleum, chemicals, energy, and more. With over 122,000 employees in 60 countries, this company is a major player in the global market. Sadly, David passed away in 2019, leaving Julia and their children with a significant stake in the family business. But Julia is not one to back down from a challenge. Today, she owns a mind-blowing portfolio of subsidiaries, including Flint Hills Resources, Georgia Pacific, and Infor. And as the president of the David H. Koch Foundation, she made an indelible impact on philanthropy, donating generously to institutions such as the Lincoln Center, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. But Julia's not just a billionaire powerhouse. She's also a well-known socialite, former board member of the School of American Ballet, and all-around inspiring human being. Yes, her net worth of $59 billion might make your jaw drop, but it's her dedication to making the world a better place that truly sets her apart. Julia Koch is living proof that when life throws you a curveball, you have the power to hit it out of the park. Finally, at the very top of the global heap of billionaires, sits the discreet Françoise Betancourt Myers, the world's wealthiest woman since 2022. This French powerhouse isn't just famous for her riches, but for her talents in literature, music, and philanthropy, among others. Francois's wealth of $79.3 billion comes from being the heir to the L'Oreal Beauty Empire, founded by her grandfather, Eugene Schuller. When her mother Lillian Betancourt passed away in 2017, Francois inherited around 39.5 billion euros, which has since grown by 50% thanks to her shrewd investments in her family's holding company, Tethys Investments, and the soaring valuation of L'Oreal shares. Despite her immense wealth, Françoise is known for living a simple life in Paris, enjoying public parks, and avoiding the use of private jets. She invests her wealth in scientific, cultural, and artistic ventures such as a Notre Dame Cathedral reconstruction. Françoise's philanthropic activities are just as remarkable. She's the president of the Betancourt Schuller Foundation, which awards grants to young researchers and biomedical labs to improve their infrastructure and working conditions. She also supports research projects in neuroscience, autism, and craft companies. Although Francois's public profile is rather low, her generosity and passion for the arts and sciences have not gone unnoticed. A prime example of the richest woman in the world making a positive impact on the planet.